Alright, my final, final, final sign for today for September the 13th, 2018. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. I've got so many friends that are Libras. So many friends that are Libras. You guys are very, very, very highly intuitive. Highly intuitive sign. It's probably that connection with Venus that you have that helps you to like tap into that inner intuition. Alright, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. Once again, I said this is for Libra, September 13th, 2018. Not everything in the reading will resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. I am so grateful for all of you that have been watching my videos. Super grateful. Please be sure to subscribe so that we can continue to connect here on YouTube. And I'd love it if you could comment when something resonates with you so that I have an idea of, you know, what... Because it's, it's nice to read the cards, but it's even better to hear when it resonated with somebody so that, you know, you know how you're being used um, by spirit to be of help to everybody. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands, which in this deck is a female. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We just had the Six of Cups for Scorpio. Six of Cups for Scorpio. Okay. Okay, Libra. Give me just a moment to take this all in. Libra, it's possible you could be dealing with a Piscinian today or a Cancer. Um, the Moon, I, off, I always associate with Pisces. And we do have the Queen of Cups here. And in all the other readings, I haven't really indicated any kind of connection with the sign, but you know, it, it kind of, I feel compelled to do it. I know, uh, I know one Libra who is dealing with a Pisces, so felt it was important just to note that it did come up in the reading. Um, so we have this Knight of Wands energy, the Queen of Cups energy, the Six of Cups. Our overall energy is the Moon. Now in this particular case, I really feel because of a, a potential Piscean connection, and for me, when I see the Moon card, it means clarity. For me as a Pisces, I connect to this card with a sense of clarity. So for that reason, in this particular, in this particular reading, I feel that the Moon card is not that sense of confusion and mystery, but it's more of a sense of confusion being brought to clarity. Confusion being brought to clarity. Now, we see that in the, the central part of your reading is that Queen of Cups energy. The Queen of Cups energy is that, that compassion, that love. It's, it's a very, very loving, sweet, sensitive nature. It's also very, very um, associated with intuition and psychic abilities, things of that nature. Perhaps you are having to harness that aspect of you to be able to use your intuition to gain the clarity that you need in a situation. Um, it appears that the situation could be related to something in your past. It looks like there's been some reminiscing about things that have been in your past. You've been remembering some happy times and some laughter. And you're really holding on to that right now. That's what's giving you hope at the moment. And you appear to be looking for some clarity on that situation. Um, clarity on whether or not you should move forward or whether or not you should you know, continue to um, continue to build on that past that you have created for yourself. The Knight of Wands, that energy is very, it's very bold, it's strong, it's confident, it's, you know, it's that, that fearless, fearless determination. It's um, a little bit impulsive, so y you have to be careful, Libra, not to be impulsive in your decision making today, you need to be very clear on, um, you know, the decisions that you do need to be making and the things that you need to be doing in your life. You need to be very, 
very clear and slow moving. Don't be, don't be the impulsive Knight of Wands. Be very careful about that. And, you know, take your time implementing a plan, but do take charge and make, take steps towards some sort of plan. Because see, we have the, the Knight of Wands looking over here at the Queen of Cups. The Knight of Wands is looking over here at this, this reminiscing. The Knight of Wands is saying, okay, yeah, I need to make a plan and it's been pretty confusing. It's been extremely confusing to try to determine what it is that I'm going to be doing with my life, what it is that I'm going to be doing about the situation. But I know that I have the intuitive ability to be able to determine what is best for me and that I can tap into that psychic ability that we all have. We all have that inner knowing. We all have have that you know intuition. It's just at varying degrees and whether or not you want to even acknowledge that it exists. So you have that. Libra, you have that. And so, you know, you're looking at the situation knowing that that the clarity that you seek will come through that intuition, will come through, you know, really focusing deep within. Try not to be clouded by daydreams. Try not to be clouded by, you know, um, the reminiscing. Sometimes this card indicates that the past is going to be returning to you. So the past may be coming back into your life today, Libra. Um, only you would know what that is, but the past may be coming back into your life. Be sure that you're looking at things clearly and that you're not allowing confusion to occur, but that you are seeing things from a, you know, a logical standpoint and try not to be caught up in the emotions that we see with that Queen of Cups. She's very emotional. She's nurturing and sensitive and compassionate. So show compassion to whomever does return into your life. Show compassion to the people that have been in your life. Perhaps you need to inwardly forgive somebody from your past and embrace all the wonderful things that they did bring to your life. Be grateful for them. So focus on gratitude. Focus on self. Try not to be impulsive. Libra, no impulsivity today, but boy, tap into those intuitive, intuitive side for your clarity. You need to get that clarity on this past situation. I'm going to pull Romance Angels for you guys today. And just like Scorpio, I may actually pull a second card for you from the Wisdom of the Oracles deck. Libra, September 13th, 2018. <laughs> Libra, have you been manifesting? Libra, have you been manifesting the return of this past person? Um, you are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Have you been working on manifesting this the return of this past love? If so, it looks like it looks like it's working. All right, one more card to give some direction to Libra, please, Spirit. One more card. Libra, September 13th, 2018. Ooh. Confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. Kind of funny. Not funny, but uh, not funny, haha. -ha, but you notice the space that I left open for this card was underneath the Knight of Wands. It's actually significant because the card that came up is confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. Okay, if you if this past if this past love does return, and there is communication that is confusing to you and you are working on trying to be compassionate and caring, forgiving, understanding, trying to be, you might want to try to harness more of the king of cups in terms of emotional restraint because that impulsivity could cause confrontation. So be careful with whatever is said to you, whatever is brought to you in your life, be careful not to, to impulsively 
be confrontational. Instead, look over to this Queen of Cups energy, be nurturing and caring and loving and kind, and things will become more clear to you. All right, Libra, that's uh, September 13th, 2018. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Please comment if anything resonated with you, just to let me know. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel so that we can continue to connect. Super grateful for all of you. See you again soon. Bye-bye.